Hey Oasis, Pastor Caleb here. I'm here with another update on our 90 day Bible challenge. Something very special happened this morning. If you're all caught up with our Bible challenge, again, we're trying to read the Bible through cover to cover in just 90 days. And if you've been keeping up with the schedule, if you got one of these white pieces of paper back at the beginning of February when we started this, then you got to do something special today. You got to turn from the front side and flip it over to the back. Today we're on day 46 out of 90. What that means is we are firmly in the second half of the Bible. Uh, if you've been keeping up, then this right hand, the pages, the thickness of that is starting to feel a little bit less thick than everything in the left hand and that's the first time this is the first time we've been able to say that that's actually a big accomplishment especially for those who've never read through the bible cover to cover now um we are in perhaps one of my favorite books of the scriptures it's a very unique book the book of proverbs the book of wisdom or wise sayings the unique thing about this book is that it's going to help us understand one where wisdom comes from at the very beginning in chapter one what does it say chapter one verse seven the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge fools despise wisdom and instruction the very premise of this whole book is that if you want to make wise choices in life you have to start somewhere you have to start with the right assumption the right um, there's a big word we use for it in theology called prolegomena you have to start with the right set or system of understanding or respects or um, laws or whatever that is if you want to make right decisions down the line and it turns out according to Solomon in the book of Proverbs the only correct starting place for wise choices is the fear of God respect, honor, glory, faith in an almighty creator who ordained the world to act and respond a certain way. Right? I want to read from you some verses from chapter 3, starting in verse 13. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. For the gain from her is better than gain from silver and her profit better than gold. She's more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She's a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens and by his knowledge the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Listen y'all, God wants to adorn us with wisdom, the ability to make prudent decisions, especially in the midst of pressure. And listen, I know so many of you are under so much pressure right now. I think about the doctors and the officials at the FDA trying to figure out what drugs to use to treat coronavirus patients. They were saying today something about three states and 10 counties carrying 50% of the load of of uh, disease cases in our country, right? I think about government officials trying to make very difficult decisions about what kind of restrictions to place on uh, places like ours that maybe aren't seeing so much of an outbreak but are, are still at risk and trying to prevent that from spreading from these 10 counties in these three states where it's a really big deal. Pressure, difficult decisions under pressure, difficult decisions uh, that we've had to make at the church about what church is gonna look like for a, a season right? Difficult decision that our small business owners, our cosmetologists in town um, are having to make about, do I keep my business open? Do I uh, migrate it? Do I adjust? Do I 
deliver products to people, difficult decisions, pressure. And God wants to adorn us with wisdom in the midst of it. Notice what it says here that the Lord, by his wisdom, by his understanding, he founded the earth. By his understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down. Dude, what's it talking about? It's talking about God's creating the world with a certain set of systems in place. A certain set of uh, most of the time reasonable sort of uh, constants that we can kind of operate within. And it turns out that perhaps making wise choices is understanding how God placed things uh, to be, what kind of order he situated for the universe, for his creation. And the better we understand that, the better we can make decisions and uh, understand or expect uh, the outcome that's going to, to be. Now, there's one last thing I want to say about this. There aren't many places in the Bible where the things that it tells us are most of the time types of things. You're going to read statements in the book of Proverbs that you say, you know, yeah, I think that's true. Most of the time. The way a proverb works is it tries to deal with the common occurrences and how we make uh, wise choices based on what we could expect to see. The reality of our circumstances is that our world's kind of broken. That's why we have viral outbreaks. That's why we have tornadoes and hurricanes, and floods and earthquakes. The fall that we read about back in Genesis chapter 3, like that's a real circumstance. Later on when we read the book of Romans, Paul's going to talk about how that moment didn't just break us. It didn't just break our relationship with the Lord. It broke our planet. It broke our earth. It caused a problem. The whole creation groans for the day in which the Lord comes back to redeem all of it. Listen, God created a system that most of the time functions a certain way because we broke it and we added the most of the time. That's why wisdom is so hard. But it doesn't deplete its value. It does not deplete its value. There is a order that God and his good graces, and we're going to talk about his good graces in establishing uh, even the order of governments on Sunday when we look at Romans 13. God in his good graces has maintained order enough for us to navigate and make wise choices. And the book of Proverbs is going to help us understand how to do that. Treasure this book, y'all, especially in a season like this. Treasure this book. Like I said from the very beginning, you may not understand everything in here, but you will encounter God in here and you will find hope. I love you all.